Welcome back to the live launch of SolidWorks 2019. If you're just joining us, all day we've been covering all the great new enhancements and features that are coming in the 27th release of SolidWorks. This morning we had a great session where we looked at performance, modeling, smart manufacturing, design to manufacturing, and some really innovative stuff. And over the last few hours, we've been jumping online, showing you mesh to manufacturing and extended reality. If you'd like to see those videos, jump on YouTube or Facebook, and you'll be able to find those. They'll be available to watch at any time. Likewise, if you want to get any more information on all the features coming in SolidWorks, I uh, invite you to check out the SolidWorks website under the What's New section, or even better, go sign up for a live reseller event. They're going to start taking place October 1st all around the world. And finally, I encourage you to join us, uh, engage with us on social media. So with that, we're going to start our last session. I have Mark Schneider here. So Jeremy, you've been talking to a lot of people about all those cool things you just mentioned. All day, all, long, all morning long, and, and afternoon long about all these things. It's time for me to ask you some questions. Do you get to talk about some stuff? All right. Let's talk about the 3D uh, experience platform and how SOLIDWORKS users can benefit from it. SOLIDWORKS desktop users can benefit from this. First of all, what is the 3D Experience platform? Well, Mark, that's a great question. The 3D Experience platform is really a way for engineers to, to collaborate with one another from anywhere around the world. I thought the best way to have this conversation would be to walk through a, a small project here. Okay. With this, uh, this uh, Icon wheelchair, it was a really cool model one of our customers actually built. Maybe do a little collaboration on how some changes could be made. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So why don't we dive in and get started. I'll give you a quick overview. So the 3D Experience platform completely, everything you're going to access, you can access from your browser. That's the one really great thing okay. about this. But what it really is, is it's a collection of apps. Almost like on your tablet device you might use, you have apps to perform different tasks. So I can use this on any device. It's yeah. a browser, right? Yeah, this will run in the browser, but we're going to show also how it connects to the desktop Excellent. as well. So we'll cover each one of these apps as we get in here. One of the first things, though, to get started that you're going to want to do is you may just want to collaborate with somebody. So we're located across the country from right. one another. I can't just go over to your desk. So with built-in messaging, it makes it really easy to have a conversation a with me. Chat or, back and forth. Absolutely. Yeah. Any, anybody you may be connected with on the platform. Okay. So if we're going to build this project, where do we start? Well, we'll start by creating a dashboard. A dashboard is kind of a place where you can custom tailor your experience to your needs. And we're going to use these apps or widgets and simply drag them onto the dashboard. First one looks like maybe a news feed or something. Add a post. I, I assume that's some sort of news feed. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. We're creating a community, community uh, kind of like a group, where you can work with a select group of individuals. In this case, uh, we just have a couple users on here. And this is a really great place where people can share ideas. It's, it's really easy to simply invite people into these workspaces and to get them participating immediately. Give them various access to different things that they can see, great. Absolutely. You can upload posts, so just like you would on any other social media platform, I want to throw a picture up, I want to bounce around a couple ideas. Comments, like button. Yeah, okay. everything everyone's used to. Sure. But we want to share files with one another, and this is a really important part of the collaboration process. So you're sharing files through this web browser. Absolutely, we're using files another app. In the cloud. Yep, we're using another app called 3D Plus or 3D Drive. Sorry, right. and we just simply drag and drop the files into this widget, and they're going to synchronize. With so now you and I have the same files. Yep, you just have to share these with me and choose. Do you, do you want me to read them or edit them? You have total Great. control over them. What about visualizing and viewing them? That's a good question. So people always need to visualize. The 3D Play app is a great way to do this. Just like we saw before, we're going to drag and drop it onto our dashboard. And then what we can do is we can search any files that we have on the 3D Experience platform and, and find something to reside in this, in this Play widget. So here, we're just going to search for the wheelchair and you can see it's live, it's up to date. And I'm always looking at the latest and greatest, I assume, right? If I save it, upload something, you're gonna look at the latest and greatest, vice versa, correct? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we've put all this work into creating this custom tailored experience, and it was relatively quick. Sure. But we you don't- You built a whole dashboard. Yeah, yeah, we built a whole dashboard where everything we need is in there. Now, we want to invite somebody else to participate in this workflow. So we can use the messaging that's built in there, and we can also, or sorry, first we can share this dashboard yep. with them so they don't have to recreate this. Even It doesn't take any time to do sure. it. 
And then we'll just send them a quick message. Hey, I shared a dashboard with you. Be on the lookout for it. So let's okay. see what that user's experience looks like. So when they log in, they'll get a notification in the, the little bell icon in the upper right-hand corner. And they'll see that uh, a dashboard's been shared. And all we have to do is say, add it. Click it, and now I have it. That, that same dashboard that was created by another user, I now have access to it. I have, it looks like I have all the information in the news feed. I have access to the 3D drive to access the files, the player, uh, any threads that are in there. I have all that information right at my fingertips, yep. right? And now these new users can start participating in the conversation about design ideas. Here we're using something called an idea. It's a little bit different than a, than a picture post where we can promote ideas with people in our group and folks can comment on those, like okay. those ideas, and, and choose how they want to, you know, should we move forward with right. this? Right, right. So, so that's all well and good, but I'm a SolidWorks user. How do I get access? What do I do? Go? How do I get the files off of the, off of the uh, 3D drive and into SolidWorks to start working on them and vice versa? That's a great question. So right inside of SolidWorks, there's, a, there's an app or a widget you download right from 3D Experience that runs inside of SolidWorks. Shows up in the task pane? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can, all those files in 3D Drive, we can just search for those inside of here. Really easy, just what's the file we're looking for, gives us our results back. What do I get to do to download it? Just, just drag, drag and drop it, and it'll open inside of SolidWorks. Very nice, very nice. From here, making the changes are, there's SolidWorks 101. Right, you just assemble some components, add the screws, whatever. Yep. So we've made some changes to the icon. We got rid of the handlebars, and we added an electric motor. Now, we may want to share what we've done with sure. the other people, just like you would on a social media platform. Get some more feedback, collaboration. Maybe. Absolutely, because obviously every design change isn't just one and done. You want to get some feedback from people, see what they think. So, so we gonna... just tossed a picture in there. Hey, this is what I have. But I notice in the, I, I see you got to put comments in back and forth, your, your communication, you got the like button. But I notice in the right corner, the uh, 3D Play uh, widget is there. Is that information up to date yet? Absolutely it is. Okay. You'll, you'll see that not only can other people participate and comment on this, the data is always up to date, the 3D model, ah, we can zoom in on it, see how those changes are impacted, and then we can comment or go a little bit deeper with this idea and choose what do we want to do with Take this. Take it next. We've got to build it. Yeah, absolutely. How do we get stuff, if I wanted to get stuff made, once I have it done here, can I share that with a supplier? Or how do I, what, what are the next steps? All right, so let's take a look at another example on here. We're going to look at another service that's available with inside of the 3D Experience platform. It's called Marketplace Make. This okay. is actually something that's available today. People can access, whether you're... Anybody can access it, SolidWorks customers, non-SolidWorks customers. Absolutely. Subscription. Have... Yeah, just go anybody. on. Anybody. This is anybody. Yep. And what we want to do with this is we want to connect engineers with suppliers. This is a challenge for people, dealing with their supply chain, finding people to do specific things. So here we have a different part on the design that we're looking at how would we have this made. So what do we think here? It's probably a prototype at this stage. Let's 3D print it. All right. Get it back. Get it back quick. I don't have to have tooling made. Let's just go ahead and 3D print that. Yeah, now I don't have a 3D printer at my facility. Nor do I. So we've, we have to find somebody. So we're going to go up to the Compass on the 3D Experience platform, and you'll see another widget or an app up here called Make. We simply log into this, and all of those files that we had in 3D Drive are available right here. We can just choose okay. from the file we want. Now, if I don't have SolidWorks files on here, we can simply upload things like step files, I just files, neutral file Any formats. Any CAD file that I want to have built. Absolutely. Okay. So we've gone through the process. We've chosen the file. What, do we, what should we do? We should probably... You, well, first of all, you figure you, you narrow it down or you choose the manufacturer or do you choose the process that you want to do? You got to select materials, maybe a little back and forth with that particular supplier. How does all that take place in the marketplace make? Sure. So to find the right supplier, what we do is we actually choose the process we want to go through. In this case, we're going to look at additive, though we could choose subtractive, machining, things like that. Sheet metal, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. We specify what we want, how we want it made. So now we have, it looks like five different uh, uh, vendors that are listed there. Are these vendors ready to, to do this? I see some costing, uh, rough costing there. I see some time there. I see some tolerancing there. 
uh, it, it's basically narrowed down to certain vendors that can do the process that I requested. Is that right? Yep. We chose and added a manufacturing process, and these vendors are capable of fulfilling those requirements. Gotcha. And we're going to make a choice here just quickly based on turnaround time, tolerance, and maybe the estimated cost, like you mentioned. That's always an important factor. But sometimes when you're working with a supplier, you, you have to do a little back and forth. Hey, you could you change something here. You do something different there. We can make a better part for you. We can make it cheaper for you, right? Are, are you able to do that with this setup here, the system? Absolutely. So there's full messaging built right into here. So we send them some quickly, this is the part I want to get made. And then on their end, they receive the same file, just like what we saw earlier. They get a notification because they're on the 3D Experience platform. They get a notification in the 3D Experience platform, not an email and the back and forth Absolutely. emails that get lost. And yeah, and then they can make customizations to this. So for example, bead blasting and having support marks removed, there's a little bit of additional cost yep. there with that. And so they're going to share that back with me. So before I make any decision to purchase we make sure we're all on the same page. And it's all captured in Marketplace Make. Absolutely. Beautiful. So there's full history, every communication we've had with one another as we go through here. Beautiful. So we've gone through this. We're confident we're going to get the part done. That's where the real magic happens. Then the supplier gets to work doing all the hard work. You push the button, I'm ready to go. It's basic. They start making the part. Yeah, it's like, the, it's like pushing the PO through, let's get this done. Yeah. And then what's really cool about this is they're going to make that to those exacting specifications that we went through, bead blasting the part, sure. removing the support structures. And when the part's ready, they're going to package it up, and they're just going to ship it to you. Once we get it back, the last thing we have to do is test it out. Let's assemble it. Absolutely. And that's really the great part about this, because we were so involved in this process, we're really confident when we get our parts back, they're ready to go on and be put onto our designs. So it's really easy to get a part made through one of these suppliers. These uh, suppliers that are all available, that you, you know what they, their capabilities are, and then get it made and have it shipped automatically to you. Yeah, absolutely. And all that information gets captured. No lost emails, no lost communications, You're always working on the right revision. Yeah, so Good to enough. answer your original question, you know, what is the 3D Experience platform? It's really this collaboration tool that really connects people from all over the world with one another. It's like connecting the disconnected. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Mark. So if the folks at home want to learn more about Marketplace Make on the 3D Experience platform today, you can actually go to SolidWorks.com slash Marketplace Make. And if you're a supplier, I encourage you to go there and make sure that we're aware of the services that you provide. Mark, I want to thank you for jumping on. This was our last session we have today. Uh, we've covered a ton of exciting content today. Um, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up here. So like I've mentioned in the past, if you're interested in viewing any of the content that we've covered throughout the course of the day, it's going to be available on Facebook and on YouTube. You'll be able to go there. And I encourage you, again, to go and sign up for a local reseller event because these are really good opportunities to ask the really nitty-gritty questions that are going to impact you day to day. So until then, uh, go to the SolidWorks website and check out what's new and sign up for an event. We'll see you later.